This is a video for problem 2.3. And my goal for you is after you watch this video, you'll have a very good understanding of what or how to attack the problem in class, problem 2.3, bagging snacks. So what are you gonna learn about? You're gonna learn more about least common multiple and greatest common factor. You should have already, when you did problems 2.1 and 2.2, written down these notes in your spiral notebook. If you haven't, you should pause now. Pause the video and write down these notes in your spiral. Why are we learning about this? Why are we going to learn more about greatest common factor, least common multiple? The reason for is we're going to keep building your math, your math house, and the, this problem could actually be a real world problem. It could be a real world problem that you face maybe if you're having a sleepover or you're trying to divvy up some real items okay so let's go ahead the problem today is called bagging snacks choosing common multiples or common factors so you have to determine should we be using common multiples to solve the problem or common factors just like you did in the ferris wheel and the cicada problem so we're going to keep building on that so I'm going to make this larger, 2.3. And this is what you'll do in class with your groups, but let's at least preview it. So the, the problem says this. Jane and her friends are going on a hiking trip. Jane wants to make snack packs to take on the trip. So she wants to make snack packs. Let's, let's make our snack packs. Um, let's just draw a snack pack. So let's get a visual. A snack pack might be a pack just like this. That is a snack pack. So inside of the snack pack, inside of the pack, you are going to be placing different items, okay? And the different items that you'll be placing are apples, she has 24 apples, and she has 36 small bags of trail mix. Each snack pack must have the same number of apples and the same number of bags of trail mix. So once again, inside of this pack, you're going to have to divvy up the apples and the trail mix evenly. So, question A. A1, what are the possible numbers of snack packs she can make so that the treats are shared equally? So the question is, how many packs could she possibly make so that all of those are shared equally? Number two. What is the greatest number of snack packs Jane can make? So we want to know the greatest number, the most, the greatest number of snack packs. Remember, this is one snack pack right here. This is a snack pack, and it's going to have in there apples. I'll just write little dots for apples. And let's do, uh, let's do yellow for the trail mix. There's trail mix. So what's the greatest number of packs? And packs would be the just the large pack itself. How many of those? So you're starting to formulate some understanding of this problem. Suppose now, well, let's let's look at A1 first. What are the possible numbers of snack packs that she can make so that the treats are shared equally? Well, you have to look at your two numbers here. You've got 24 apples and you've got 36 bags of trail mix. So I'm going to push this over here. If we have 24 apples and we have 36 trail mix, so these are apples and these are trail mix, what do we need to do? Well, 
don't we need to find the factors of 24 and 36? Let's write out the factors of 24. 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. So those are for 12. Those are for the apples. What about the trail mix? Let's do this in blue. So 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9. Did we get them all? I think we did. All right, so how is that going to help us? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that, but how is that going to help us? What are the possible number of snack packs that she can make so that the treats are shared equally? Well, are any of these factors, do they share any common factors? So do they have any common factors? So if you look up above, let's highlight some that they have in common. Well, they share one, they share two, they share three, they share four, they share 12, and that looks like it's it. So those are the common factors. So how is that gonna help you solve the, the problem? What are the possible numbers of snack packs she can make so that the treats are shared equally? Describe each possibility. So when you, when you do this, when you describe each possibility, it might be helpful, it might be helpful to draw out the snack packs. So, oh, I said it was black. Draw out the snack pack. There's one pack, two packs. Well, how many packs should we have? That's the question. So we need to figure out how many packs, and I'm gonna do one as an example, and then I'll let you go from there. Let's just pretend we have one pack. If we have one pack, one, one, how many apples would go in the pack? Well, if we had one snack pack, we'd have to have 24 apples in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 apples. So 24 apples. And we would need to have one pack, one pack, but 36 trail mix, 36 trail mix. Oh boy, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 34, 36. So 36 trail mix. That is one possible solution. One possible solution says what are the possible numbers of snack packs so that they're shared equally? Well, you could have one pack just one pack with 24 apples and 36 trail mix. So why don't you, with your partners, using that hint that I just gave you, why don't you continue working with A2, A3, and then move on to B and C? I think I've given you enough hint there. All right, so this is a table that's in your notes packet. Why don't you pause the video and get your notes packet out and find this table. This is some good practice. Okay, you've got your notes packet out. Let's look, uh, let's, I'm gonna highlight, let's do, um, let's do the first two right here. Let's just do these two numbers. We're gonna do these. We're gonna figure out what goes in these boxes right here. And we'll do that by using the math that we know. I like this new pencil I have, it works better. Okay, so 
first number, second number. So what's the greatest common factor of 12 and 16? So we have 12 and 16, so let's do that. Let's find the factors of 12, the factors of 16. And I'm modeling this to you. 12 and 16. So I like to write them as pairs. 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, 16. 1 times 16, 2 times 8, 4 times 4. Okay, so what's the greatest common factor? So the common factors, the common factors that they both share, are, I'm going to highlight these in red. The common factors are 1, 2, 4. What's the, the largest factor that they both share? The greatest common factor is 4. What's the least common multiple? Well, we have to do multiples of 12 and 16 now. So let's do that. I'm going to move this up a little bit. So multiples of 12. So 12 times 1 is 12. 24, 36, 48. Multiples of 16. 16, 32, 48. I'm going to stop there. I see common multiple would be 48. So the least common multiple, that's the smallest multiple that's common to them both. The least common multiple is 48. So what's the product? It wants to know what the product of the greatest common factor and the least common multiple is. Well, the greatest common factor was 4. And the least common multiple was 48. So this was the least common multiple, and the fours were the greatest common factor. This one here wants to know what the product of those two numbers are, 48 times 4. So we can do that. We know how to multiply. So 48 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Carry the 3. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 is 192. So the product of those two is 192. What's a product of the two numbers? Well, the product of the two numbers is 12 times 16. Well, let's do some more multiplying. 12 times 16. 12 times 16. 2 times 6 is 12. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 72. 2 times 1 is 2. Add them together, we get 1. 92. So we notice that there's a pattern there. The product of the greatest common factor and the product of the two numbers is the same. So I would like you to do the math for these numbers, 15 and 30, 32 and 9, 45 and 8. It's good practice. And we'll do these together. Let's do, uh, what, are the, what are the proper factors of 32? Well, you can do that. Can't you? 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, and you finish the rest. And what are the proper factors for 45? 1, 5, Nine, you finish the rest. So this is a practice page from your notes. And this is the end of the video. I hope this video will help you with least common multiples, greatest common factors in solving the bagging snacks problem.